Hello guys, my name is Asian Psycho, and this is going to be another review to the Exploring the Arsenal series. Um, as an extra number 29 or 30, I forget, but it's around there. And uh, my climate, Mystery Scope, uh, brought this up to me uh, that I need to do the review on the Beretta M93R, uh, because, or it's not M93, but it's just 93R coin combat arms uh, because he had noticed that I didn't have a review on this yet and I was like oh god you're right so this might be the last review before the new weapons that are going to come out um, or at the time of this recording this is one day before the November update patch so uh, excuse me if there are more weapons that have been released uh, b before this but as of now this is going to be I know I keep saying this but this is gonna be the last review for the playlist order but seriously this is my last known one so in case any of you guys can see that I've missed a review on a, a particular weapon that I actually uh, looked over that is not a sniper rifle then um, please let me know so I can get the review on it done very quickly in any case Let's start with M93R, uh, or in this case, the Beretta 93R in combat arms. So, this is a pistol. It first came out, I think, about around like last year or two years ago. Um, it was last year, I don't know. Yeah, that's definitely right, last year. And I think it actually came out during the Black Friday sale. So, it's actually, the it's one year anniversary is quickly coming up, so... There you go. Uh, the M93 Breda, uh, or I'll just call it the M93, goddamn. <laughs> These are the same uh, pistols that come from Modern Warfare 2, okay? Just saying, they're the Raficus. They're the exact same thing. Um, that being said, though, um, it is a pistol, obviously. It is a 3 round burst pistol, just like the three, uh, the, uh, the G18, the G18 Chrome, the G18 Carbon Black, all of which they have, uh, all of which that have a 3 round burst function attached to them. So, yes, the M90 Breda, uh, the, the M90 Breda is pretty unique in that respect, uh, considering that most pistols don't carry a 3 round burst function. It costs 1900 uh, annex for 30 days, 3900 annex for 90 days, and 9900 annex for permanent, as is uh, all the other price tags for all the NX standard permanent pistols. So let's get into this, uh, the M93 Beretta uh, 93R. Blech, I'm just going to call it an M93. The damage on this uh, weapon is very low for a pistol at 32. Um, it put into comparison, um, the I think the default M9, M92FS deals about a 30 damage, I want to say, unless I'm getting this completely mixed up. Uh, in fact, let me just check right now on the uh, on the Common Arms wiki page to see that uh, the damage is indeed 30. Oh no, actually the M92FS deals a 28 damage, so um, yes, the Beretta M93 is uh, 4 points more powerful than its cousin variant, because they are kind of related, um, at 32 uh, compared to the default pistols to 28. This being said, though, this is still a lot weaker than most other pistols in the game. Like, for example, the um, the G23 has a damage rating of 33. Um, the USP has obviously got 38. Uh, and everything else so far. Uh, the K5 is pretty much the only pistol that's weaker than the Beretta M93R. I'm sure there are other pistols as well, but um, the K5 is, is what comes to my mind right now off the top of my head. So damage is not exactly very strong on the Beretta M93R. Portability is at a 90, so that's standard for most. Uh, that's standard for all, almost all pistols anyway, unless they're like some special pistol that has more portability than it's 90. Rate of fire is at a 45, um, so that is still pretty. And uh, I would say the G23, I believe, has a uh, 45 damage uh, rate of fire ra rating as well. So technically speaking, you can fire as fast as you can click with the Beretta 93R. Uh, the accuracy on the M93R is at a 60. This is Pretty high for pistols, considering that most other pistols only uh, have less than 60 accuracy, I think. Uh, recoil is at a very low, or comparatively anyway, comparatively low 54. Um, I don't remember if any other pistol has lower recoil than this, in miraculously speaking, but um, it seems to be pretty low in my opinion, as far as I'm concerned, as my... Whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to get with there. Anyways, so, um, the recoil spread. The recoil spread for pistols, obviously, is almost ne is almost always negligible. Especially with the Beretta 93R, because um, even though you can't fire as fast as you can click, it'll probably, it probably won't spread out as 
much much bigger than its default spread so don't worry about that um the kickback is negligible as well so you don't need to worry about it. overall the recoil controllability is uh as with most of the pistols you don't really need to worry about it. you can just spray it everywhere uh, tap fire ability. This is a fucking pistol, so moving on. Uh, sprint drawback. Uh, all sprint drawback, draw speed, and center speeds are all pretty much on par with most of the pistols. Um, though I would like to say that the draw speed is very, very fast. It's even faster than the G23 or like the M92FS or most of the pistols like that. So its draw speed is insanely fast. Uh, definitely a perfect sidearm uh, that you you want to have if you're caught in a situation where you run out of bullets in your primary, you need to switch to your secondary. Bread of 93R is one of those choices. Reload speed is extremely fast. Its reload speed is pretty much identical to the G18 Cobras. In fact, their, in, in fact, their reload uh, animations are identical as well. In fact, their sprint their sprint animations are also identical as well. Pretty much everything about it, about those two are identical in terms of animations, okay? Uh, fire modes. Now, this is where the Beretta M93R's main pro shines because of the fact that it has a 3-round burst option. When you switch to the 3-round burst option for the Beretta M93R, its 3-round burst spread is the smallest of any 3-round burst spread of any pistol. You can compare it to, like, say, the G18 or the G18 Chrome or the G18 Carbon Black's 3-round burst uh, hip fire spread. You can go ahead and compare them, but I guarantee you that the Beretta M93R's 3-round uh, uh, burst Hip fire spread is smaller than any of uh, any uh, any uh, any other pistols. Is. That's the inherent advantage that the uh, Breda M93R has uh, as its own unique standalone pistol. That's one of the uh, pros about it is because of the fact that its uh, hip fire spread, while aiming down or not aiming down size, but while it has its three round burst option uh, active, it's very very tight. It's very it's very small and um, it's. It's just really, really accurate, but like that. I mean, it's no one that the that Nexon decided to give the Breda M93R a six rating of 60 accuracy. So, um, yes, that is a good thing. Uh, luck. Um, I mean, because of the fact that the three on burst function is so, or the uh, spread on the three on burst function is so small, if you aim anywhere near the head then you'll probably get a headshot. So I'm going to have to say that the uh, luck on the Beretta M93R is very, very high. Because all you need to do is, is you know, you just need to somehow aim for, their, uh, for your enemy's heads and most likely you'll pick up a headshot. Moving on to the ammo capacity, it is, has the same ammo, ammo capacity as the G18 Cobra at 20 rounds per magazine and 20 in reserve. This means that you cannot attach a... Um, you cannot attach a magazine modification on the Beretta M93R, uh, but in any case, do keep in mind though that the Beretta M93R, because it has the same ammo configuration as the G18 Cobra, um, it does. It may feel like it runs out of ammo way too quickly, which is a problem with the G18 Cobra. Even though it, you do, you may have it on three round burst. Um, the Beretta can still chew through bullets really easily. So obviously not as fast as the G18 Cobras, but still because of that high rate of fire that the uh, three-round burst function has, um, you know, you might run out. You might find yourself out of bullets really quick. So that's something you need to worry about. As for key physical characteristics, um, the Breda M93R, its main body frame does look like that of an M92FS, but its handle has been made wooden, and um, it's got a few other gimmicks and attachments to its uh, to its uh, to its physical appearance that it looks like its own unique standalone gun. But um, hold on a bit. All right. So, other than that, the attachment options, according to Combine's wiki, um, it seems to ha be able to attach sights and a suppressor. I'm not too sure about this, because I've never used, I've never found a use for a scope or a suppressor for the M9, Beretta M93R, and thus never really checked whether or not you can actually attach modifications to this. So, uh, I'm going to go on a limb here and say you can't attach modifications, and even if you can... Um, I don't recommend either of them, because if you attach a silencer on this, it, its damage is very weak anyway, so you don't want to do that. And also, if you put a t sight on this, I mean, you're going to be using this for, for mostly for its 3 round burst capability, so I don't think a scope would be very uh, at optimal either. So there you go. Um, is it fire team worthy? Maybe. I mean, it's got 40 rounds, it's got, um, you know, a 3 round burst function. You could be accurate with this for going for zombie headshots. Uh, I'm not too sure. So it's up to you. 
Quarantine worthy? Well, it's got 40 bullets. It's got 90 rate of fire. It's got a 3 round burst function. It's up to you, really. I prefer taking like a G23, but... I don't know. If you want to bring it with you to quarantine, then be my guest. As for my frank personal opinions, the Beretta M93R is a fantastic pistol uh, because of its 3 round burst function. The main strength that the Beretta M93R has is against light vesters, light vesters and uh, recon vesters, because the Beretta M93R seems to have some sort of damage multiplier attached to it whenever you shoot uh, like light vest, recon vest, like vest gear that give you negative armor uh, armor cap capabilities. I don't know why, but it's re I think it's pretty possible that you can actually one shot burst. Um, a, a light vester or a recon vester with the Beretta M93R, even though it technically only has a damage rating of 32, and um, as long as you shoot them in the chest, at least I don't know why. I just feel like you could you can easily one shot a recon or light vester to the chest with a Beretta M93R. I'm guessing it's because of what I just said right now that Nexon somehow put in the damage multiplier for the Beretta M93R if you're using it against light vesters or recon vesters. I just always found uh, using the Beretta M93R very, very potent against light vesters and uh, recon vesters and pistols only games. So um, I'm going to tell you guys that right now, the uh, possibly the best pistol against to use against um, recon vesters or light vesters is going to be the Beretta M93R. It takes them down really, really quick. And um, I mean... It's just a really good gun overall. However, that being said, it is not as effective at, against like um, heavy vesters or assault vesters, any kind of gear that gives you more uh, armor. I feel like the M93, the Beretta M93R is really, really affected by how much gear, like how much protected gear you have on. So if you see, if you see someone ha using a Beretta M93R, it might be a good idea for you to, you know, get that heavy vest or get that assault vest on uh, out so that you can, uh, you can tank a lot of damage from the Beretta M93R. I, I I don't know. It's it's always it's always kind of boggled my mind that such a pistol could be um, you know affected by a gear so like so well or I shouldn't say well but so much. But that's I guess that's just how the Beretta behaves. And um, I mean if that's how it's going to behave, then you got to work with it. So yeah, those are my frank and personal opinions about the Beretta M93R. Um, it is a very good gun, a uh, good pistol overall, especially with its three-round burst. You may find that you're going to run out of bullets uh, too, uh, a little bit too, a uh, little too early, I guess, or too fast, and uh, it might not be so good against uh, protective gear. But everything else, it's got your job done. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching uh, my review on the Beretta M93R three-round burst pistol, and um, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed the review, and I'll see you guys later. You can shit it.